The goal of today's press conference is uh, threefold. The first, just to remind our community of the highly specialized care that's available through the faculty at LSU Health Shreveport every single day and to share and celebrate the remarkable and improbable journey of this very special little girl, Melissa Braga, who has traveled here all the way from Brazil. And three, just to remind everyone the great things that can happen when people choose to work together for a common goal. This all started when I was reading uh, the news in a Brazilian uh, web page, and this headline caught my attention. It was about this family uh, looking for uh, uh, help in the treatment of their daughter. And uh, as, I was, as I was uh, reading the, the article, and I was reading about more about her tumor, I realized that our department, and mostly, and especially Dr. Gali, of course, could help Melissa. I've seen him helping people so many times. So I took a screenshot, uh, I texted him, and uh, he answered me right away, yes, let's help this family. So in less than one hour, searching uh, social media, I was able to get in touch with the family. And a month after that, they were here in Shreveport ready for surgery. This is a very uh, rare tumor in this age group of a child, a, a three-year-old girl with what is a myxoma, which is a very aggressive uh, type of tumor. It is a typically a benign tumor. It's not a cancerous tumor, but it's very locally aggressive. And if you look at uh, pictures uh, before surgery, you can see that this tumor has pretty much eaten away her entire jaw from one side to the other, has pushed her, displaced her tongue to the point where she was really unable to eat uh, pretty, pretty well on the way to being a, a, a very malnourished child and it was beginning to affect her breathing. And certainly when we finally were able, was able to remove this tumor, when we were able to remove this tumor, this tumor weighed over five pounds on a child that probably doesn't weigh more than 25 pounds herself total weight. So uh, a good percentage of her weight was, was this tumor. She had a problem just keeping her head you know, still, because this thing weighed five pounds, uh, and it was almost like another head that was attached to her to, to her jaw. Uh, you know, breathing became an issue, swallowing became an issue, eating became an issue. One of the first things that the that the mom asked me was, uh, "Will you be able to reconstruct a tongue for her?" Because over the course of the last couple of years, her tongue had been obliterated by the tumor. When in actuality, the tumor had grown so large that it was pushing her tongue back in the back of her throat. So she was unable to even move her tongue. So once we were able, were able, once we were able to resect or remove the tumor, then it, it brought the tongue back. And, and so you can see now she can move her tongue around and stick it out and do all sorts of stuff. You know, she's going to need multiple uh, surgeries in the future. Uh, ultimately, we'll probably have to take a portion of her leg bone and do a definitive, more definitive reconstruction of her jaw to replace uh, what's in there now, which we have a metal, we have a titanium plate that basically spans from about here all the way around to the, to the other side of her jaw. I, I think, again, I, I don't want to overemphasize this, but the, the importance of the shreveport Bozier community in making something like this happen is critical. The town that they live in, Sao Paulo in Brazil, has, has a little under 20 million population a little under 20 million population. And, and there, by all likelihood, none of the surgeons there were really very comfortable treating this by the time it got as large as, as it is here. But they came to Shreveport, Louisiana to have it taken care of and the community pulled together. It took a lot of planning and a, and a lot of help uh, from folks at Willis-Knighton and from folks at, the, at our School of Medicine, as well as many, many folks in the community and in the churches, uh, lo local churches and in, in, in the communities. I want to thank everybody for coming today and witnessing this life-changing experience for Melissa Braga and her family. And I want to remind people that the expertise of the LSU Health Shreveport faculty is available throughout our entire community through our primary teaching hospital, University Health, as well as other local hospitals such as the VA, Christus, Shriners, and of course Willis Knight and all the hospitals that we have contractual agreements about. 
Um, I think one of the main messages that we want to share today is that the extreme expertise that you've witnessed today is available right here in our community. And as I stated earlier, people travel from around the world and it's really easy to forget uh, what we have right here in our own hometown.